What is up guys, this is Rob with 99 Problems But A Fish Ain't One. Today we are at the creek once again and I'm bringing you another episode of wading these central Pennsylvania creeks looking for some quality smallmouth. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. This is where the afternoon should go from good to great. Oh man, bunch, don't know if you can see that. Bunch of fish, little uh, fry or something, or minnows or something spinning around. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a fish on this cast. I'm using yellow braid as my main line and an eight pound fluorocarbon leader as my leader line. I like the yellow because one, um, one, uh, one because the We're definitely getting bites. Um, one, because the I can see it, and two, the camera can pick it up very well. And then the eight pound fluorocarbon leader to not spook those fish. So the bait I'm starting off with today is this. It's a Kytec 3.8 inch, not sure of the color. It is rigged on a, uh, I believe, three aught uh, one eighth swim bait hook. It's got that little corkscrew on it. I don't know if you can see that. I really like that for wading and, and for this setup. Um, easy to rig, and then also feel like I can get really, really, really aggressive hook sets when I need to, especially using this braided line as my main line. Getting some, hitting the bottom a little bit. I believe that may have been a bite. Just waiting to see if he's still on. We got one. We got one. We got one. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Maybe, or maybe it's just been a while since I fished. <laughs> that could be it too. See. Oh. Man, the smallmouth are awesome. He's not huge. I'll take him now. Good start to my day. He's not a bad fish to start though, I will say that. Not a bad fish to start. Nice little guy. Man, look how small his tail is. Look at that. He's got such a small little tail. All right, well, see you, buddy. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Man, <laughs> smallmouth fishing is so fun. Dude, it just fights so hard. You cannot deny, pound for pound, smallmouth fight harder than any other species. I really don't even think it's close. If you would have told me when I first hooked up with that fish that it was that big, I'd have been like, dude, you're lying. But only smallmouth can be that small and that fun. As fun as that one was though, we need to go out and get some more, shall we? These fish should be, uh, really should be spawning. I'm not gonna, you know, if I see one on a bed, I won't repeatedly cast at it. There's another one. That's a better one. That's a better one. <laughs> oh my God, buddy, relax. Relax, my friend. Oh, man. Relax, my friend. I will get you unhooked. You just need to let me 
Oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Let's go. It's a good one. Heck yeah. I'll take that one any day. Any day. So just threw him up on the scale, guys. He is a 16 inch fish, just over two pounds, two pound, one ounce or so. And uh, we are going to release him here. Say goodbye to our friend. Bye bye. Woo! All right, guys, you have been granted top secret access to the best bait for spawning smallmouth or, or smallmouth that are near the spawn in these shallow clear creeks okay this is the type of bait that you're going to show your friends and you're going to catch twice as many fish as them and they're just going to look at you and be like dude what are you using this is the bait right here okay so you are going to run a weightless three zero swim bait hook okay and you're going to use some sort of Kitech 3.8 4 inch uh, soft plastic. Um, electric shad uh, works really well. Rainbow shad works really well. They look very natural, but then just have a subtle, subtle, slight, you know, difference that sets them apart from the regular shad that's in the creek because you want these fish attention. And that's all how you're going to rig it, okay? And now it is weightless because these fish are very, very finicky. And also, they're usually spawning around some sort of vegetation or heavy rock. You do not want this thing snagging up. You want this thing just drifting, 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 slowly, slowly falling directly into, into where they're at. So this is the, the, the best bait that I know of. Okay, let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to give it a cast out. And let's see if, uh, let's see if I can get one right away. So it's weightless, so give it some time. And you will feel these fish hit this. When these fish want this, there's not gonna be any doubt that there's a fish on the end. See, there's one. See, that's how you do it, right there. First cast with this guy. That's how you do it, guys, right there. You've been granted top secret access to how this goes. It's not huge, but it's a good one. See that? This fish, this fish, quite frankly, never stood a chance. It's a pretty one. They cannot stand it. If they're not hungry, that's fine. This thing's slowly popping into their beds or near their beds where they're protecting or where they're starting to spawn. They will not be able to resist. All right, let's get this one back. It's that simple, guys. It's that simple. Again, I'm talking about how to use this bait for the spawn, but really anytime the water is low and clear, I'm talking like three feet or less, not much movement, you know, and, and these are, these are, as you can see, these are, you know, bluebird skies that I'm fishing, you know, these fish are going to be super finicky, but they cannot resist this. They cannot. It is in their DNA that they cannot resist this bait. Let's see if I can catch another one here. <laughs> Sorry, you guys didn't need to hear that. God dang. That was a pig. And I missed him. And still, throwing that bait that I talked to you guys about earlier. Weightless. Kai Tech. 
just letting it, you know, sit. Reel it in two or three times. Letting it sit. Reel it in two or three times. And you will feel these things. I'm telling you, when they hit it, you could take a complete amateur fishing. And they will feel this. And they will say, yep, I felt that. There is no doubt that there's a fish on my line. That's a fish. Okay, let's reel down. There's one. Come on, buddy. You're mine. Got a good hook set on you. Yep. Got a good hook set on you. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, brother. <laughs>